These are support ribs, also known as gussets. And in a design case, when you are designing ribs, it is important to consider the draft angle for the ribs. So if we take a look at this angle right here. So that's, this is the base right here. So the thickness of the base should be two thirds the thickness of the wall that it intersects. So this is the actual wall. So for example, if, if this wall was one millimeter, then this part right here should be 0.75 millimeters or two thirds the thickness of this wall. It could even be a little bit smaller. Let's just say 0.6 millimeters uh, compared to the one millimeter thick wall. The thicker you go, if you do, let's say it's one millimeter wall thickness, one millimeter rib thickness, uh, you're gonna have defects on the other side of the wall. Let me show you what those defects look like. So we have one, two, three, four different ribs with different thicknesses here. When we flip it over and take a look at the plastic part, you can see I have, with a silver marker, identified, there we go, right there. You can see the shrink mark. Uh, it's a little dimple that's caused by the design flaw. Although it can be manufactured, there are aesthetic issues with the design where you can actually physically see the shrink mark and the defects on the opposite side of the plastics. So just be aware of that. This up here, it's very difficult to see because it's almost non-existent because it was designed according to specification. But that also changes depending on the actual material that you use too. So it's very important that you design these correctly. Now ribs can be used in different purposes. Let's just say, for example, ribs can be used uh, as gussets, also known as gussets, uh, for mounting bosses, for giving additional strength and stability to parts. Here you can see we are using a rib going all the way around as the base or the foundation to our pencil holder. And this is a, a good design for this product. Now on the other side, we're not taking a look at the shrink mark that's occurring here. Uh, if we were, that would be really bad, but we don't actually care because this is the inside of our pencil holder. So that's not a big issue for this product, but you have to consider that when you're designing for other products. You can see here, the mounting boss has support ribs, also known as gussets, to give additional strength to this mounting boss. Here, we are using mounting ribs to actually support a circuit board. You don't see the circuit board, but we are using it in the instance to hold a circuit board in between the clips and the mounting bosses. In this part, the customer was using it to hold a battery in place, and then they were placing a circuit board on top of that and screwing. So the ribs actually serve two purposes. One, to hold the battery in place. Two, to hold the circuit board in place. You can see this design here. They intended to use gussets for the support and adding strength to the wall. However, I'm not sure that it was properly executed. I think this has some warp here, but I'm not sure if that was actually intended warp or if that was part, if it was not supposed to be there. In this instance here, you can see the ribs are being used to isolate a PM particle matter 2.5 sensor uh, to block off the airflow and isolate that sensor. In this sample, the gussets were used to add strength to the mounting bosses as well as add strength to the plastic part. They're actually used all over here. They're, they're being used here as well to add strength to the plastic part. Now, I added marker points here so you could see the shrink that's being caused by the mounting boss on the other side. That's it. Thank you for watching the video.